before we get into it, we did get over 100 commenters on the last video, so we will be doing a giveaway. Good old man. Top of the morning, friends and family. How are we doing? We're here going herping with Mr. Brian Gundy. We're crawling under bushes. We're doing things. We're going through places. We're top secret location. Look, people have been camping here. Our mission today is to try and find some rubber boas. I have never gotten to see a rubber boa in the wild before, and Brian luckily knows some spots where we have a real high chance of finding rubber boas. Maybe at least one, maybe more? More. More. Several. Several. I think several. We're gonna think several and try and find as many as we can. We are in a top secret location. This location cannot be disclosed, correct? That can't, it cannot be disclosed. Can't tell you where we're at exactly, but hopefully you in will Santa get- Santa Cruz Mountain. Plop down somewhere in Santa Cruz Mountains, you might find us. We're going to hopefully find some rubber boats for you guys and even if we don't at least we get to see some beautiful scenery and I'm sure we'll find so we're gonna find something oh, yeah, right? yeah 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 no, we're gonna no we're gonna find something especially because of this rain and uh, the white rain that we've just had and stuff it's yeah it's been rain up here last couple days and what's really cool is this is a natural flyway right here so you'll see golden eagles flying through here once in a while Wow. And a lot of birds, a lot of birds. One thing you might not know about Brian is he is a bird master. He used to like, he used to actually catch red tails, right? Yeah, I'm a falconer. <laughs> He's a falconer. Yeah, I used to catch red tails and great horned owls and sparrow hawks and red shouldered hawks and then train them to hunt. <laughs> I'm sure I just got some mud on the lens too. Oh, I didn't, lucky. With Right. Some... Basically anything where I'm not talking at the camera, I consider right. B-roll. I have a circuit. We've got all these boards and stuff to look under. This is kind of like a herper's wet dream right here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's boards, there's all, there's all kinds of stuff to flip over. And check this, oh my gosh, look at this. If you see a rubber bow, just yell. What's that? Two garter snakes and an alligator. What? This guy does not waste any time. We've, li <laughs> we've been here literally like... Ooh, don't bite that guy. <laughs> we've been here for... What have we been here for? Five minutes. Five minutes? <laughs> yeah, something. So these look like possibly red-sided. See this here? Yeah. Wow. I caught a blue one here the other day. Sometimes I'll bring tweezers with me while I'm up here. And if I can, I'll pull these little ticks or mites off these guys. Not a bad way to start out, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> Dude, this guy's right, incredible. Go ahead and let these guys go. This guy flips one board and he's got four animals. <laughs> Truly just amazing. Old tire swing. These old records. A little. Uh, oh, a little, is that California Newt? I don't know. I can't remember. That looks like baby California Newt. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's California Newt. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. I've never seen a bit one that small. Right, I gotta pick up the game. Brian's already found like five things. I found nothing. Why don't you come with me? Because I know where all the good okay. flipping good, boards are. Good, good call. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with this guy. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Brian's a true wild herper. He puts stuff right back where he found it. Always. So important. That way I can keep coming back here and finding stuff, you know? Look at that. 
Nice. Little baby garter snake. Oh, oh a couple. <laughs> Five garters so far. Snake. Snake number six. Garter snake heaven, guys. <laughs> I'm, I've already lost track of how many garter snakes we found. Nine. Seven or eight. Huh? Look at that. There oh. it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't even okay. <laughs> get the video first okay, of all. Okay. Here, let me hold that up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Ben. Look at that. Look <laughs> at that. Brian has his first rubber boa. How cool is that? Wow. <laughs> look at this thing, guys. Look, it's already trying to make its tail look like its head, and I almost fell for it. This, oh, I have guy. always wanted to see. See the tail? Isn't yeah. that the weirdest looking it's thing? It's such a trip. It Literally, when I first picked it up, I thought for half of it, even though I saw the head down there, I looked, I was like, it moved its tail just like a snake would move its head. It just kind of moved it up and looked yeah. around. It's even got a little smiley face on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> You I'm know they gonna... they sacrifice that tail when they're getting their when they're eating mice and stuff. They'll stop the uh, they'll take that tail. The mouse or whatever thinks it's the head of the snake, while the snake is actually eating up the gobbling up the babies. The adult mice you'll see how chewed up that tail is. That makes sense. That's what I've heard anyway. Dude, I am so incredibly excited right now. <laughs> I've, I've always wanted to see a rubber boa in the wild. Well, you got one now. Oh man, look at this thing! It's so cool. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna grab the macro lens. I'll get some nice, real close-up shots of this tongue. Look at how slow he or she moves his tongue. It's oh, it's incredible. But you can see the little scars on its neck area there. You see the yeah. This guy's <coughs> this, been chewed up a little yeah, bit. Been through a battle. Yeah, look, been through look, a battle. Yeah, look down here and stuff. Yeah, there's all those. kinds of scars. Yeah. This is a little chance. Look, this snake feels so cold. I mean, it, it's not like it's warm up here. No. But it's amazing how cold this snake feels. It does. It feels like nice, soft, pliable rubber. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Dude, thank you. Congratulations <laughs> to you for being a herping, herping master. We've been out here, we've literally been out here for like- 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah, 10 yeah. minutes. We've got nine garter snakes, all kinds of centipedes, and the rubber boa that we were looking for. This guy, this guy is One amazing. of the rubber boas. We're, One of the rubber we're, boas. We're, 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 we're not done yet. Yeah, we just started. better from here <laughs> <laughs> so this guy this guy does not fool around man. he said we're gonna find multiple rubber boas he was not joking number two Wow Banana slug, garter snake, and a rubber boa. Rubber boa number three, all under one piece of wood. <laughs> what? What's going on here? Are we having fun yet? <laughs> There's probably more underneath that stuff. Right? 
Yeah, but we're not gonna tear it up. Yeah, look at the bellies on these guys, how pretty they are, how different. But the tail is always what's unique about these guys. And from what I understand, they sacrifice these tails to let the adult mice chew on their tails, thinking it's the snake's head, while the snake is gobbling up the baby mice or rats or whatever they're going for. Very cold, but you can see the animal is just, it's not, its tongue action is pretty quick. Very cold weather tolerant. Kind of unique about living in the Bay Area is that we have three different types of snakes that have live birth, which is kind of rare, I think. Um, you have the rattlesnakes, you have uh, garter snakes, and you have rubber boas. They all have live birth. Entrance to a beehive, guys. Luckily, I'm not allergic, or I wouldn't be able to get that close. I am allergic. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian is allergic. <laughs> Let's make some distance. is watching TV. Alligators. Nice looking one, huh? Yeah, look at the colors on yeah. that bad boy. Ooh, I just kneeled down putting my balls in the spikes. Oh, spiky stuff right that in your crotch. Solid. What the heck are you doing? I, I'm <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I just... I just put my balls People into it. People don't want to see that, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Another uh, banana slug, little one. See in the center there? It looks like a, I mean, it looks like a millipede. Maybe it of is. Of some kind. The, looking oh, that, at the, that would make more sense. Though. Looking at the legs. Okay, because it, yeah, okay. Can any of you guys identify this creature right here? I, I want to say it's some kind of millipede. I, I've, I've never seen them before out here in California. I have. This is the only place I've ever seen it. As you can see, it rolls up into a tight little ball when it's bothered. It's a little defensive mechanism. And I'm just, I'm just curious if any of you guys know what that is. Little baby garter snake going through what is likely its very first shed cycle. Look at how small this thing is. You can see next to Brian's fingernail there. I think we get enough of snakes being that we have so many at home, but we just can't get enough. <laughs> <coughs> That's amazing. So you're saying this is likely a different kind of garter snake? Yeah, this looks like a coastal. Garters are not my area of expertise. Like I said, the other day I was out here and I caught a blue one, so it was either exanthic or anatheristic. That's very, very cool looking. Almost brought it home. See how much broader that yellow, that stripe is in this guy? Yeah. Than the others that we caught? And there's less pattern on the side and musking all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Smells fantastic. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, big fat banana slug. What's that? Big fat banana slug. Oh yeah? You guys didn't have them down your way, right? Uh, I haven't seen them down our way. Big fat banana slugs. You see Santa Cruz mascot. Look at how brilliant the colors are on this alligator lizard. <laughs> wow, look at that fatty. Oh my goodness. That's a beast. Type of paradise. You see how it puts its head, or its head, I even call it a head. You see how it puts its tail there, just like it looks, it wants you to think that its tail is its head. It's very smart. That last spot was incredible. Three rubber boats, how many boats have you caught in your life, Brian? Uh, this would now be set, uh, 
Seven. Seven. So we, we almost caught half of the rubber bows that Brian's ever caught in his life <laughs> in yeah. our last little session. Yeah. That is incredible. He's taking us to another spot. And what, what are we hoping to find at the new spot? Hopefully this will give us some Zanatas, the Mountain King, the Santa Cruz Mountain King's name, the tricolored Mountain King. Yeah, well, hopefully. Well, it's not as much a flipping spot from oh. understand. It'll be, it'll be more uh, just kind of walking along the trail, hoping we come across something. So wish us luck. To put a rain check on this spot guys apparently you see that traffic thing but they've got some kind of issue they're picking up uh i guess there's a helicopter coming in and the, the trailhead's closed they said if we wanted to proceed forward we would have to uh go to jail first <laughs> <laughs> and i ain't going to jail <laughs> not today hey papas what's going on papas hi 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 you uh, i don't anymore Possible het pied. Wow. Pastel leopard clown. Nice. Isn't that pretty? Look yeah. at the color. Look at that. We are back at Brian's place hanging out with his dogs and stuff, and we are getting ready to film an episode of Triple B TV. So you can expect to see that coming up. We're going to show off some of his really cool ball pythons. He's getting them ready right now. Should be pretty sweet. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, cheat, or cheat. There you go, buddy. Good boy, Buzz. Boy. <laughs> Powerful jaws. Very. Check out this awesome tegu, guys. This is Brian's tegu, of course. Well, how many kids would you say have hung out with this tegu, Brian? Over 50,000. 50,000 kids yeah. have gotten to hang out with this tegu. This tegu has helped turn on kids to, oh, that's a lot of kids. I know. Huh? That's a lot of kids. Yeah. And what an awesome creature. Look at how, look how gentle he is. Yeah, he's just great. I mean, he just finished eating and he went right up and sat on my, chest and so he, he obviously knows the difference between a mouse and an earlobe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Let's hope so. Otherwise. For, for your sake. <laughs> <laughs> a gorgeous animal though. Isn't he something? He's something else man. See I, I always tell you guys I don't, I don't have time for lizards right now but I got plenty of time to play with other people's lizards. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty cool. Sad but true, it is time to leave the Gundy facility. <laughs> we did film some awesome Triple B TV. We did oh, we, the rubber boas. Rubber I'm not going to get over the rubber boas. Oh, yeah, man. they were that, great. That was a good time, but yeah, always a good time to see you, B. All right, my friend. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Stay safe. That was just I'm the close. camera. You can walk me all the way to the car. That was just the camera. Goodbye. All right, so from our last gangster video here, we'll copy the video URL. Paste it into our comment picker and filter the duplicate users. Lots of comments. 120 unique commenters. Start the raffle, pick a random winner. And Greg Morris, definitely gangster. All right, get a hold of me, Greg. Come on, baby, let's go nuts. So where were you last night? Yeah, bro. <laughs> and do you so can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs>